am going to make a bibimbap, which is one of Korea's best known dishes and also a favorite among foreigners. Wondering which sauce you should use? I've got just the thing for you. So this is duenjang or soybean paste and today we're gonna make our bibimbap with duenjang in case you have trouble in finding gochujang or red chili paste. This is ground beef. For the base seasoning, add diced garlic and sprinkle in some salt and pepper. Dice the onions. Alright, let's chop the nuts. Uh, walnuts. I love walnuts. Almonds. Macadamia. And peanuts. Alright, let's do it. Heat up a frying pan and stir fry the beef. Add the diced onions and stir fry a bit more. When the beef looks cooked, add some sesame oil and pour in the nuts and duenjang. Time for more stir frying. If you like your food a little spicy, you can use red chili powder to give your bibimbap a delicious red glow. So this sauce is called samjang because Korean people like to have it with wrap or sam. Mmm! Samjang goes great with vegetable wraps. The beef and the nuts uh, make the sauce less salty and the sesame oil uh, makes it extra savory. Lovely. Some people have trouble eating kimchi because of its spicy flavor and smell, but don't worry, we'll take care of that. Butter a frying pan and stir fry your chopped kimchi. It will be less spicy and much softer. If you like, you can add a bit of sugar. Stir fry kimchi, stir fry kimchi. Find some vegetables from your fridge and slice them up. Then, fry an egg using sesame oil. On top of the rice, add the vegetables, kimchi, samjang, and the fried egg. Mm. The samjang bokum kimchi bibimbap is complete. <laughs> 